No one deserves this kind of cancer. It sucks. As a family, we've always had the dream of having a property that we could be sustainable on and raise our children the way we were raised. And so this property, we were very much drawn to. It was everything that we were looking for. One of our dreams as a family is, is to have organic gardens in order to feed our children from. We both have been very aware of pesticides and its danger to not only the food supply chain, but to our children. We moved into the property right about the beginning of June, just before Honor's eighth birthday. And on the morning of July 19th, 2019, I woke up to a helicopter making very low passes over my property. So I got up from bed to see what was going on and I could see a helicopter with outriggers spraying. I was immediately hit by an awful stench of pesticides. When the spray was happening, they were spraying two sides of my property and basically overlapping the corner of my property over my garden and our orchard. I immediately called and texted my husband and said, we're being sprayed by a helicopter. I have no idea what it is. Within the time that it took me to get ready for work and leave, Rivers was already calling me, telling me that he had figured out where the pilot was from and that he was waiting for a call back from the pilot to find out what chemical was sprayed. When the pilot called me back, he was interested where I was located. When I explained to him exactly where we were on Google Maps, his response was, oh God, not this one. Uh, so that greatly uh, concerned me. After the ODA came through and did their testing, they found persistent chlorpyrifos signatures four months after the application. Within 24 hours, Honor developed a fever that didn't go away for almost a month. So the next day, I felt like total, I didn't feel good, just like felt like two trains smashed together did not feel good. As a mom of four, I know that a fever more than a week isn't normal. We had called poison control the same day that the spray happened, and they were little to no help. I took Honor to the doctor, and I explained what had happened. I even had the pesticide sheet I explained to the urgent care doctor, we had a spray on our property. It engulfed our house. I smelt the toxic chemical. I think my son is having exposure issues. And the doctor says, there's, there's nothing we can do for that. So the particular kind of cancer Honor has is known as the fastest growing human tumor cancer. It was absolutely devastating to our family going through the cancer protocol. It was extremely invasive for honor and it shattered us as a family, going between Silverton and Portland for almost seven months of our life. We didn't know where we lived. The financial distress that we went through was immense. My husband had to give up his job just so that one of us could be in the hospital at all times. One of our bigger issues post being exposed is, is that nobody took us seriously. We repeatedly went to the doctor, repeatedly asked for testing, and we were refused. Even when we got a doctor to listen to us and come back with a diagnosis of Burkitt's lymphoma, at that point, it took us four months into therapy of chemotherapy to find out that there was a very direct connection between chlorpyrifos and lymphoma in children. Chlorpyrifos is a dangerous chemical to the point that it was banned from household use a long time ago. The devastation we felt as a family, knowing that this chemical was not only sprayed on our property, but that it goes onto a Christmas tree that goes into every family's house. It's not anything a family should ever have to think about. Nobody should ever have to worry about choosing between a Christmas tree and cancer. 